151 singles are on the move. We got some good movement on some of these singles. We're going to take a look at the biggest singles from the set that are moving. We're going to take a look at some sealed product. We're just going to jump straight into it. So Pokemon collectors and investors, buckle up, uh, because we're starting off with the Blastoise EX number 200. Uh, this is TCG player on the one-month chart. This is starting to look exciting. I've been I've been saying it for a while that some of these singles needed to be more expensive, especially with how people are, are hoarding this set. People are master setting this set probably more than ever. And we, the Blastoise is up 20% on the one month chart up and it's finally cracking $50. Last sold at $51. Um, I don't know what this sale is right here at 89. We're just going to ignore that. But uh, finally in the $50, that's a big move. 20% in the last month. Blastoise, beautiful card, finally getting some some notice here on the market with some good movement. Even on the three-month chart, being up 12.5% is a huge move. So it's really great to see uh, some of these cards finally moving. Take a look at the Charizard here real quick. It's not uh, as interesting of a move, but on the three-month chart, 12.75% uh, up. On the one-month, it's about stagnant. But on the three-month chart, it, you know, we're still seeing some growth. So not as exciting as the Blastoise there, but, uh, you know, every, most people's favorite card. So we'll just figured we'd touch on it real quick. Then we have the Alakazam on the one-month chart. You know, once again, not as big of moves, but it's nice to see these singles going up. Uh, I'm really excited about that. Now, if you're, if you're a collector still looking to master set, uh, finish your master set, or, you know, then you don't really want to see these huge moves. But I... I I think that it's great to see, and I still haven't finished my master set personally, so I'm still working on this, but uh, I like seeing some movement on these singles. On the three-month chart, though, the Alakazam is up just under 15%. Uh, this is another one of those cards that I like a lot, and it's nice to see it get some more recognition and uh, see a value bump on the Alakazam. Beautiful looking card. Now we got an IR on here, uh, the Charmander on the one month up 6%, but uh, if we bump out to the three month, 10.8%. So we're seeing some good moves from these singles. And like I said, like this is this is kind of crazy with honestly like this last sale at $35 for this Charizard IR. Oh man, I mean, well, like I said, I'm still working on my master set and I still have some some cards to finish. So, um the reprint or restock or whatever it ends up being, if it's only a restock, might end up coming and being well needed at this point, uh, bringing some of these prices down. But um, for those looking to finish their sets, but yeah, Charizard or Charmander's up. We got Squirtle up 6.7% over the last month. Super adorable, Squirtle, by the way. Uh, but the three month chart, 27%. He's up 27%. He's about to crack $30 for the Squirtle IR. Things are getting, things are getting crazy. I'm, things are looking ripe for for a reprint or restock it's things are looking ripe but uh yeah interesting look at the bulbasaur on the on the one month 10.3 percent right that's those are good numbers three month chart is not as much it's just 3.5 percent but still steady increase good to see there um yeah the one month chart makes that look a little bit better uh then we got the charmeleon 17.9 percent in the last month like all of these cards are just taking off it's it's very interesting. Um, it is important to note that 7.3% uh, on the three month, um, but it is important to note that not all of the cards across the board are taking off. I just picked the ones that are moving up. Um, there's definitely some that are moving down. Uh, maybe we can touch on what cards are on the way down in a different video, but I just wanted to touch on the cards that are moving so you guys can be up to date on maybe, uh, you know, if you needed to pick up this Charmeleon, you can look at this chart and figure out, is this the time I want to get this Charmeleon? right now because um, it was higher before I don't know so you guys can kind of use this um, use this information to help complete some of your sets the Pikachu on the one month 2.8 percent um, not moving too big we pull out to the three month though 15 percent so these are some these are some pretty decent gains um, on the on these charts honestly um, the Pikachu card is a great looking card but you know and I like the Pokemon in the background but there's something left to be desired with the Pikachu for me personally I think they could have done Pikachu a little bit better um, the Ivysaur 6% on the one month chart and 16% on the three month chart I love this evolution line I love all of the starter evolution lines um, I do yes I have the uh, I have the whole Bulbasaur um, line complete so I don't need any of these cards for my collection but it's nice to see um, some of these gains you could have picked this up at $15 and now you know we're at 
just about to crack 20 on some of these sales and it did crack 20 and it's moving back up towards 20 so that is interesting um then we got the other charizard uh ex the 183 uh full art here three month three percent but on the one month it's up 8.4 percent so rebounding a little bit um yeah i mean and if we pull out to like we pull out to the one year chart obviously we're not even we're not even near the one year highs so um there's still room for these cards to keep moving up so that is interesting uh then the dragonair i love this dragonair card i i've said it in past videos this is an underrated underappreciated card and there is a lot of room for this card to move and on the three month chart 22.8 percent so it's nice to see the dragonair card getting some action on the one month it's just up 3.6 percent but on that three month chart that's looking pretty good um, these are some good percentages then we even got the polywhirl look at the polywhirl not a very expensive card right you could have picked it up for sub 10 and now it's over 10 um so once again dollar amount you know not the biggest mover but 13.9 percent you know that's a good increase for polywhirl there uh on the three month chart it's actually down so it's rebounding on the one month it's 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 on a rebound up so um, that's very interesting. Then we have the, uh, the Zapdos EX 192, 7.6% on the one month and the three month is 4%. So it's very, um, slow and steady rise for this Zapdos. Once again, people are needing these cards to complete their sets. So, um, even some of the lesser desirable ones, like we're going to, that we're about to get into, uh, you know, we're seeing movement on them, which is, which is cool. Like the Nitto King, the Nitto King, you know, is a very cheap cards still still very affordable which is nice uh but it's up almost 20 percent on the three month uh one month it's only 4.4 percent as you guys can see here but yeah almost 20 percent on the three month chart working on a bit of an uptick right here so uh, it'll be interesting to see you know where these cards end up obviously not as popular you know a little bit more uh, common than some of the other cards but uh, it's nice to see movement on them it really it really is then look at this guy this is the shocker for me uh, but beautiful card, by the way, I really, uh, this is an under, under appreciated card, honestly, it is, and it's still so cheap. The Caterpie is beautiful, but up almost 30%, 30% on the three month. When I was shocked to see that, like 7% on the one month and about 30% on the three month, that is some good movement. You know, it only goes from five into like the seven and $8 range, but still that's a big move. So, uh, Caterpie getting some love, right? That's good to see. Uh, even Mr. Mime is getting some love up 18.7% on the one month, uh, on the three month chart. It's actually down just a tiny bit, pretty much flat, but, uh, so it's in the middle of a rebound right now. It's on, it's on the uptick on the one month. So, uh, super affordable. This is a really affordable card as well. A few bucks. You can have that card. Uh, let's take a look at some of the sealed product real quick and we'll just take a gander at that stuff. Um, this is just once again this is i'm focusing stuff that is on the uptick right um there is stuff that is on the down on the decline and we're we're not really focusing on on that in this video leave me a comment if you want me to focus on stuff that is moving down uh, in a future video but booster bundle displays i have been vocal about this in several videos saying that especially for this set but for other sets moving forward that i think this will be the best uh sealed product to collect long term is the booster bundle display i stand by that it's uh just sort of a gut feeling that i have there's not really any data because booster bundles are kind of newer there's no data to support that if this is going to be good just something tells me that these are going to perform really well long term and they're going to be essentially the booster boxes of these specialty sets that have the booster bundles and the booster bundle displays but up 17.5 percent on the three month chart the booster bundle display is looking good. Um, you could have been in the high threes here, and now we are at four in the four hundred and sixty dollars, right? Uh, the one month chart it's pretty much flat, up 0.8 percent. But uh, on that three month chart, yeah, and then six month, you pull out the year. Um, we are not at the one year high, which is, you know, although it says zero items so we're right here, five hundred. So there's still room to go on these. Um, these can definitely be moving up, you know, um, we'll talk more about the restock reprint at the very end of the video, and that will be affecting the sealed product possibly the most. Um, 
151 UPCs, these were available all day and night for like 80 bucks, 90 bucks, uh, Costco, GameStop, online, everywhere, right? You could have been picking these up. They are uh, big. If you're uh, storing them for your sealed collection or investment, they're big and bulky. That is the downside. I don't, um, I don't hoard a lot of UPCs personally, mainly because of the size restriction. Uh, I think I'd go with the booster bundles and even uh, ETBs for the most part. It, it depends. There's obviously UPCs that I think are worth it. And this one is worth it, but I just think that there's some other value elsewhere. But three-month chart, 16.3%, seeing some good movement there. On the one-month chart, just a little bit, it's up 2%. So um, steady increase there, not at the one-year high. The one-year high was kind of crazy, 157. So um, still some room to go there. Um then we have the ETBs, which on the three-month chart, you know, <coughs> excuse me, not very much right there, 4.5%. One-month chart, it's actually down um, a little. So, um, yeah, the ETBs pretty much are on their way down currently. Um, they were about to crack 70, and now they're back down into, the, like, the mid-60s. So, um yeah, so that is going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to touch, give a little update on English 151, some singles, some sealed. Um, we've talked about the uh, the news, the rumored news of a reprint and or restock. Uh, we're hearing mixed, we're hearing mixed things from mixed people. Like I said, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a distributor or access to a distributor, but either way, um, whatever you want to call it. There is more 151 coming. We just don't know of how much. And it sounds like it's going to be mainly booster bundles. So that, um, and we're, yeah, we're hearing different stuff like overseas to the U.S. It's a little bit messy right now. But with uh, more booster bundles, expect that those booster bundle display prices to be coming down. Um, possibly the singles. It, it, it's just going to depend on how much hits the market. Um, I still stand by that there will be like an official large reprint of this. Um, whether that whether this ends up turning into a reprint this year um, by the holiday season or what, uh, we will I will keep you guys updated on when we know more. But either way, we're getting more product, which is good for both collectors and investors. You can start getting your master sets hopefully bring some of these prices back down for singles you can finish your master set you can pick up more booster bundles will be available for sealed investors or if you want to rip either way uh hopefully those prices should be coming down which is which is nice um if you're sitting on a lot of booster bundle displays um well i you know it's it depends on your um your time frame on which you're trying to hold these but you know that may be bad for you on the short term but um, I think it's widely regarded as a good thing. So anyways, um, I think that's mostly going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content. So do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And then also, if you could hit the notification bell uh, so you guys can stay up to date on when I post my latest video. So you can stay up to date with the Pokemon market, what's going on. Um, I would really appreciate that. If... Uh, if you guys want, um, there is a Discord channel down below um, in the links in the description. There's also links to my eBay page so you can see what I'm selling. Um, if you're interested, there's some Amazon links. If you want to support the channel in, you know, at no additional cost to you, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for uh, taking a look at this 151 update. And remember, it was never a phase.